a TSBVI outreach tutorial. APH Grandmer Abacus, Part 2, Prime Factorization. Prime Factor, 420. Presented by Susan Osterhaus, a Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired Outreach Math Consultant. Just because you've seen it done once doesn't mean you've got it. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you are, so we have to we have to do a few more practices. You know, I'm I'm I am a teacher first. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try something uh, a little more difficult. We're going to go ahead and try the number four hundred twenty this time. So first thing is to set it. We've got four hundred. We've got the four in the hundred spot. Two in the tens. And since it ended in a zero, we have no beads in the last one. Okay, if you remember from the first go around, we're going to start with 2 again. Is 420 divisible by 2? Yes. So we're going to put a 2 there, and then we would be dividing 420 by 2. Well, in this particular case, I can do that in my head. 420, I could say... 4 divided by 2, that's going to be 2. And then I've got 20 divided by 2, that'll make that 10. So I, I now have from 420, I now have 210. I'm fine. I did that in my head. I, I'm, still, I'm still doing great. Okay. I now have 210. Is 210 divisible by 2? Yes, it is. So we put another 2 to the extreme left. 2 goes into 210 how many times? I still think I can do that in my head. Okay, because 200 divided by 2 is just 100, and 10 divided by 2 is just 5. So now I'm up to 105. All right, now, is 105 divisible by 2? Ooh, no, it ends in a 5. It has to end in an even number for it to be divisible by 2. I think it might be divisible by 3, but, okay, what's the divisibility rule? There is a divisibility rule that says if you add the digits the 1 plus 0 plus 5, and you get 6, and that's divisible by 3, then 105 is also divisible by 3. So it passed the divisibility test. So we know that it is divisible by 3. So I'm going to put a 3 on the left, but I'm not quite so sure. Can I divide 105 by 3 in my head? Or am I... I'm scared. I think I might make a mistake. Okay, so if you're a little worried that you might make a mistake, you could bring out another abacus, or just because it's a little faster today, I'm going to just grab this calculator and try it on the calculator. Power on. 1, 0, 5, divided by 3, equals 3, 5. Ooh, that was, now I thought it was 35 really, but I just wanted to double check. Okay, so I'm glad I had that calculator. So I'm going to change 105 to 35. And, I, and I, I'm, I point this out because your student, if they are, at least in Texas, if they are uh, uh, at least in the ninth grade, they are allowed to use a calculator even on the tax test. And if they're allowed to use something, I want to make sure that they, they do know all of their opportunities. So again, the calculator, all it was doing was just double checking on that division problem. Uh, but it really couldn't keep that prime factorization numbers. That's what's so nice about the abacus. You can use a calculator, you can use an abacus to do your divisions, but you still need something to keep track of those numbers that you are dividing, those prime numbers. So we now have 35. Is 35 divisible by 3? Well, let's try our trick. 3 plus 5 is 8. No, it's not divisible by 3. The next prime number is not 4 because 4 is uh, divisible by 2, it's divisible by 4, and it's divisible by 1. And remember, a prime number is only divisible by itself in 1. So the next prime number would be 5, and 35, since it ends in a 5, would be divisible by 5. So we're going to put a 5 right next to our 3, and say 5 goes into 35, since that's kind of a, you know, multiplication math facts, I can do that. 35 divided by 5 would be 7. I'm going to change my 35 to 7. Will 5 go into 7 evenly? No, but I happen to know the next prime number is 7, so I'm going to place my 7 next to my 5 on the left side. 7 goes into 7 one time, and I got to my 1 on the right, so I can stop, and I have prime factored 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. So there is my prime factorization. And just in case you want to double check, All clear. let's see if we did that right. 2 multiplied 
multiply, 2, multiply, 3, multiply, 5, multiply, 7, equals 4, 2, 0. Wow, we did it right, and that was our, that was our check. Now, again, the student could either write it down this way, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7, or they could write 2 squared, or 2 to the second power, whichever you prefer. So again, 2 squared times 3 times 5 times 7 would be the prime factorization of the number 420. And I, I did teach this particular method to some students in a math tools class, and one young man was so excited about being able to use the abacus because he said that he did need to do that type of work sometimes when he was taking the tax test or when he was doing some of his mathematics problems. And he always had to be sure that he had his braille writer with him to be recording the answers as he went. So he was very excited to have something so small and portable as he said that he could fit in his pocket and uh, that way he, could, he would be able to do this uh, so much more easily uh, having this just to record his answers when he was doing prime factorization. And uh, so just to let you know, uh, to have your students be alert for this, this is what, what I would consider a very low-tech math tool but low-tech does not mean bad. Uh, low-tech quite often is something very good, very small, something that you can use uh, anytime, anywhere. This video continues in the TSBVI Outreach Tutorial Series, APH Grandmer Abacus. Look for other videos by Susan Osterhaus on math for the blind and visually impaired. APH is American Printing House for the Blind. A TSBVI Outreach Distance Learning Production. Executive Producers, William Daugherty, Superintendent. Cyril Miller, Outreach Director. Outreach Producers, Susan Osterhaus, Math Consultant. Mike Bicknell, Media Specialist. Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired Outreach Programs. 1100 West 45th Street, Austin, Texas 78756, USA. Telephone, 512-454-8631. Website, www.tsbvi.edu. Video Copyright TSBVI 2010. All rights reserved.